The topic to be discussed are mast cell stabilizers and its definition, uses, examples, and mechanism of action. Before proceeding to what are these mast cell stabilizers, let us first tackle what are mast cells. Mast cells are a type of white blood cell that are part of our immune system and play a key role in our body's response to antigen. The activation and degranulation of mast cells significantly modulates many aspects of physiological and pathological conditions in various settings. With respect to normal physiological functions, mast cells are known to regulate vasodilation, vascular homeostasis, innate and adaptive immune responses, angiogenesis, and venom detoxification. So, what are mast cell stabilizers? These are anti-inflammatory drugs that aims to alleviate asthma and several allergic conditions. Mast cell stabilizers prevent the release of histamine and other contents from mast cells. They come in various forms such as inhalers, oral solutions, and eye drops. They prevent the release of allergic mediators and reduce bronchial hyperactivity. And it also has a slow onset of function. Histamine, cytokines, prostaglandin, and other molecules are stored in structures inside mast cells called granules. These granules can travel to the cell membrane and fuse with it, which allows the contents to exit the cell. This is termed as degranulation. When the contents of mast cells are released, it causes typical allergic symptoms such as inflammation, swelling, tightness in the chest, and an increased mucus production. Mast cell stabilizers block calcium channels on mast cells and thus prevent mast cells from responding to this signal. Examples include the chromaline sodium and nidochromyl sodium. These examples of mast cell stabilizers are drugs that are common derivatives. They are non-steroidal and non-broncodilator. And since they are highly ionized, they are not taken orally but through the inhalation route. 